Hello, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on the video. So we're going to hop right into the messages, guys. Okay, please remember that these will be general. Only take what resonates with you. If it doesn't make sense, please don't try to make it. Masculine feminine images can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. Okay. Time and injury are fluid. This will be past, present, or future energy. So take it how it resonates. Get in where you fit in. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Hello, divine spirit, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guides, spirit team of the highest white light. Please be with me during this reading for the Libra Collective. Please help me to use your use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. And please help me to interpret and convey your messages accurately and clearly for the Libra Collective, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for your continued guidance, protection, love, and support, Holy Spirit. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say amen. I ask that any negative energy, evil eye, spell work being sent my way be sent back tenfold, returned to sender, and or transmuted into more positive energy. I say amen. Hi, right, Libra. This is for Libra, Summer Rising Venus North Node, or anywhere that you have Libra in your chart. You may resonate with this reading, okay? Cross Watchers, what's up? I see you. All right, guys. So let's get into it. We're going to pull from this deck to see what you need to know at this time. What's the current energy going on around Libra? What's the current energy? What is the current energy that Libra needs to know about? I pray that whoever needs this reading finds it at the right time for them. I'm hearing something about gallery. I was, because I was about to say if you guys needed a personal check the description. But I heard something about gallery. I'm getting like a photo gallery in somebody's phone. So somebody could be reminiscing, looking at old pictures of you. Or you could be going through your photo gallery, memories, or something like that. Okay? Something about a gallery. Could be an art gallery. I don't know. But I'm getting like photos, pictures, reminiscing, okay? That type of energy. If this isn't you, this is somebody who's, you know, reminiscing about you, looking at your pictures. And I'm looking at your photograph. Because it's the last piece of you I have. Because you left me. He texted me. Sent that picture to my phone. And you never miss a good thing in your life until it's gone. So somebody's missing you, Libra, looking at your portrait. That song is called Your Portrait by Urban Mystic, if I'm not mistaken. I'll try to remember to link it below, but y'all know I'll be forgetting. I'm going to write it down, though, so I can try to remember to link it. Um... I feel like this is going to be one of those channel song messages. 333 on the timer. 3333 could be significant. You could be seeing it a lot. Okay. Okay. So just one conversation. And if you want, I'll leave you alone. So somebody wants to talk to you. Okay. Can we talk for a minute? All right. There's like, just have one conversation with me. And I'll leave you alone. Bottom of the deck says, I can't stop thinking about you, especially at night. So this person could be reminiscing about you at night, 404 on the timer, looking at your pictures at night. Look, I'm afraid you child, and it fell on out, child. I get sad. Look at that. I can't even. I get sad sometimes when I see your photos. See, I told you this person is reminiscing. So let me take this. They look at your photos particularly at night. I'm hearing while they're in the bed. Some of them may, you know, get off to them. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some people do. If you sent them some explicit photos, then they probably use them, okay? <laughs> and I don't care how old they are. But uh, hold on. These two fell out. So we have, I'm afraid you're going to reject me and I don't want to fight with you. So this could be somebody who, this is somebody who wants to come toward you, okay? They want to talk to you because we're starting off with them just wanting to have one conversation. They just want to 
hear your voice or see your face if this is a face-to-face conversation or they just want to like speak their piece okay um something like that but this person thinks about you at night okay especially at night and when the and then they started looking at they start looking at your photos and they get sad sometimes okay um, they want to come towards you, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them and they don't want to fight. So this could be somebody that, you know, they're afraid to talk to you because one, they don't want you to reject them. Two, they don't want you to fight with them. I'm hearing attitude. So some of you may, this person feels like you're going to have an attitude with them. Like maybe you got some choice words for this person. I don't know, but whoever it is, they don't want to fight with you. Okay. What else for Libra? Tell me more, please. Holy Spirit. Party angels, thank you. But I always hope to run into you in public. So if you live near this person or whatever, if y'all live in the same town, city, whatever, this person is always one hoping that they run into you out in public, okay? But Let's see. What else? Yeah, I'm feeling like you don't really do a lot or go out a whole lot or something like that. Look, something's destined to be. You could feel like this is destined to be. This person could feel like you're, you guys are destined to be together. 636 on the timer. Okay. Um, there may be a destined faded meeting um, in the works for you guys. Okay. Like you may end up running into this person. And I'm hearing, especially if you haven't seen them in a while. Okay, you may end up running to, into this person out in public. Hmm. Ooh, sorry, I'm not here itching. But this person feels like something was meant to be. They look at your photos and they reminisce and they, you know, they feel like this is a connection that, you know, was meant to be. 707. I'm hearing James, Jerome. Kennedy. Something about sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Maybe this person feels like they sacrificed something. Maybe sacrificed their happiness or something like that. Maybe they felt like you were their happiness and they sacrificed you. Okay. There's a leak in this old building and my soul has got to move. Now listen, for y'all who don't know, 744 on the timer. This is a old church, Baptist church song, okay? There's a leak in this old building and my soul has got to move. My soul has got to move. All right, don't let me take y'all to church right now, okay? Cause <laughs> but well, basically what's that saying is that there's something here there's something going on that isn't right okay there's something there's a leak in the in the building there's a crack in the foundation something isn't right and it needs to be not fixed but like move to a whole different building it's like tower energy there's a building the building is falling apart it's on fire the foundation is cracked there is no fixing it okay so you literally are going to have to move there's something going on that is meant to happen that's moving this person physically okay um or you know it could be spiritually with the soul being here okay somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening but there's something going on with this person or something that is meant to happen that's gonna cause this a shift in this person okay that's gonna cause them to like physically or spiritually have to move maybe both all right Wow, messages just want to slide on out. I'm afraid you can love him or her better than I can. This is a message from the karmic here. Okay, so if this person is dealing with another person, then this is a message from them. This person, oh gosh, I'm hearing, um, I told y'all this was going to be a song download message. Uh, What is it? He can't love you like I love you, baby. You should know it too. You should never want to be with the man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So yeah, somebody's afraid that this per that you can love this person more better than they can, or 
Bang, now I'm hearing, I can love him. I can love you better than she can. I can love you. Look, this person, I know I can't compete where I don't compare. This is from the karmic. This, so if their person is dealing with another person currently, um, then this is this is the, the leak. This is where the crack is. There's a crack in the foundation of the relationship or whatever it is. And they're feeling like their soul has got to move. They got to get out of the situation because something is falling apart here. Okay. And it's like the person that they're with knows that maybe this person still has feelings for you. Um, if this is a past person, which I'm picking up on, it is, this is somebody who still has feelings for you. This other person could know it. Um, Somebody could have even got caught, like, looking at your photos in their in their phone. And I feel like this, this person, this karmic person, may be, like, upset or jealous or something because they feel like they can't compete with you. Because, yeah, and, I, and I'm getting, it's because of, like, like you're inside, you know what I'm saying? 11-11, okay? So this could be like a soulmate twin flame connection, all right? 11-11 on the timer. So, yeah, that's why they can't compete with you. If this is like somebody that you're destined to be with, with we got the destined to be out here, then, yeah, there, there's going to be a tower moment between them and this person because they're not supposed to be together. This, this person is supposed to be with this karmic to learn their lesson and then move on, okay? And I feel like this karmic person knows that, all right? They can't compete with you because they're not this person's soulmate. They're not this person's twin flame. 1144 on the timer. Okay. Look, shit. Bottom of the deck, child. The spell has been broken. Karmic spell work backfires. Backfiring and failing. Child, look. The spell isn't working anymore. So, whoever. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, boy. I knew it was going to be some ish when I decided to use these cards for y'all, but you know, this, this karmic person has been doing spell work on whoever this person is on your person. Okay. They've been doing spell work on the person, but it's not working anymore. That's why there's a crack in the foundation. That's why there's a leak in this whole building and my soul has got to move. My soul has got to move. Yeah, that's how this person is feeling because the spell has been broken. Karmic spell work backfiring, failing. The spell work isn't working anymore, okay? The spells ain't spelling no more for this karmic here, okay? All right. So, look, on the split, I lied to him or her about you to get them to turn on you. Child. And look. I won't give up without a fight, the karmic. So this person is like, yeah, heavy spell work and or manipulation. I'm telling you. And these people are constantly arguing, fighting. And this karmic is constantly keeping up drama. Look, I'll do anything to stop this union. Child, bye. Honey, this person, you got, mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, so whoever this person, whoever your person is dealing with, they, um, I'm getting, what's that song? Won't wave my white flag, no, this time I won't let go, I'd rather die than give up the fight, give up the fight, give up the fight, give up the fight. Yeah, this person would rather like literally in themselves and or this person than to give up i mean there's like i won't give up without a fight okay heavy spell work and manipulation constantly arguing with this person they're constantly fighting this person brings constant drama and chaos into your person's life here okay and there's literally saying they're not gonna stop i'll do anything to stop this union i won't give up without a fight even though this karmic person knows that this person is not for them, okay? I'm hearing, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I, yeah. So this, this karmic knows that hit them, that this spell, they knew, they had to know that this spell work was only going to work for so long. They had to know, <coughs> excuse me, here we go. 
this person knew that this spell work was only going to work for so long. They can feel it breaking. They can feel that the spell work isn't working anymore. The manipulation isn't working anymore, but they're still trying. They're still going to be, they're going to keep doing it because even if it gets them the smallest bit of results, even if it buys them 15, 15 on the timer, if it just buys them a couple more days with this person, a couple more weeks, a couple more months with this person, whatever, they're going to keep doing it okay and look this person they said they lied to your person to get them to turn on you so this karmic i don't know if they may be some they may be something they may be some type of spiritualist maybe they're like a tarot worker i mean a tarot reader um or maybe they get tarot readings or get psychic readings or something like that and they found out that you and this person were supposed to be together or they found out that there was somebody else that wasn't them that this person was supposed to be with, but they decided that they wanted this person. So they were going to do the spell work to keep this person. Like, jeez, oh, Louise, I can't. Okay. Look, I split it. Shit, from messages from the karmic. Now the karmic wants to come in. I know he or she still thinks about you or misses you. And look, I did or do love spells to get him to get or trap him or her i'm telling you yeah but the spells are breaking okay spells are breaking and backfiring i now realize what i lost a message from your person now that the spells are being broken and lifted here you could feel this person heavy in your energy as well okay like randomly, you could be thinking about this person randomly. You could be having dreams about this person. And I feel like you guys are mirroring each other um, because, you know, this person could be having dreams about you too. But it says, I now realize what I lost. Now that the spell is being broken and lifted, this person is now realizing what they have lost here. Okay. What else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, I tried to find someone like you, but I realize you're one of a kind. Uh-huh. So this person, I don't know what this, what kind of, what this karmic did to this person, but they're realizing that you're one of a kind. They could have tried to replace you. They tried to find someone like you. Never mind, I will find someone like you. Yeah, but they couldn't, okay? Clearly they couldn't. Because now they're realizing that you're one of a kind. They're realizing what they lost. I just keep hearing spell work and drama. Look, witch doctor. I just saw it on the bottom and it came on out. This... Uh, um, it came 1808 on the timer. It came out in one of the readings that I did yesterday that this person... Oh, yeah. So this... It came out in one of the readings that I did yesterday that... Your person who was who the karma was doing spell work on could have figured it out, figured out that something was going on here. And again, if this if this karmic is some type of spiritualist here, just say they they do, you know, they, they probably show their person the minimalistic stuff. They probably like, oh yeah, I read these cards, or they're probably like, Oh yeah, I, I do, you know, I practice herbal um holistic practices or whatever whatnot okay they probably do things like that and it's probably told your person the type of stuff like that that is it's something that they did or said or that they do um that you know got your person to kind of look into some stuff here okay and i feel like they your person did some type of research and figured out that you know well i might be under some type of illusion some type of spell or something and they could have sought out help from this witch doctor okay to um figure out what was going on with them and to help them to break this curse or this fight this spell work or something look bottom of the deck karmic angry because spell work manipulation is no longer working yeah the karmic is pissed karmic is pissed right now because this person has figured it out and this says this ain't no ordinary ordinary love we got so much history so like i said this person from your past somebody that you definitely have um um a past with okay or this is like your soulmate twin flame 
for sure. All right, so, oh my gosh, it's fucking karmic. I use subliminal messages, messaging to reprogram masculine's mind. So this karmic, uh, I use subliminal messaging to reprogram this masculine's mind. So this, oh, why am I getting like somebody whispering stuff during sex or while this while this masculine sleeping this person could be like whispering stuff in their ears or like have some type of record some weird shit i, I don't understand because subliminal messages is like something that is underlying it's like you're listening to one thing but there's an underlying message there so maybe i'm hearing trigger words as well so they could there could be some type of trigger words that this person uses child i don't okay i'm gonna leave that alone Look, yeah, look, I use sex to manipulate, control the divine masculine. Like I said, yeah. So this person does this during sex, whispering stuff in their ears or, or maybe touching them in a certain way. That came out like a while back about um, how the the karmic, somebody's karmic voodoo person or whatever the hell she was, um, was would would stay close to this masculine to touch him or touch him in a certain way during sex or something like that to control him or to release what is it uh what did i say oxytocin um yeah to release some type of oxytocin i think that's like the love hormone or something like that there's something that this person does that causes a release of oxytocin in this masculine that makes them only have eyes for them or makes them because I feel like they have to do it while they're there because they child while they're close to them look I call child I cause drama arguments to deplete the masculine's energy yeah this is what so they child and I saw 222 on the timer as I said that so this karmic is will will cause specific, look a constant constant argument fighting and drama so this karmic purposefully and constantly consistently causes arguments or drama in the masculine's life because i mean i know y'all done been through some relationships where you just argued and fought all the damn time that stuff is draining nothing well i don't say nothing but um, when you're in a relationship, there's nothing more draining than constant arguing and fighting. That crap is so freaking draining. So it's like this karmic would start pick fights with this with this masculine. Just say he left to go to the store and he been gone a little longer than she thought he could. Because now, like, the spell only lasts for six hours okay or something like that 12 hours and now it's the 13th hour and he's still not back so now she's upset so now he comes home and he he's already you know it's already wearing off or whatever the fuck and then she starts this argument with him to like i'm here like makeup sex to get him in the bed and then to do these subliminals she may even um put stuff in his drink or or get him to drink um to further deplete his energy, to further make him submissive or susceptible to whatever the fuck she's doing. Look, ugh, child, bottom of the deck. He or she will never love you the same after I'm done. But I heard never be the same. Okay, I know I wrote love you, but I heard they will never be the same after I'm done. So this karmic is hoping that whatever they're doing, even if this person does break free from them and come back to you, they're hoping that the spell work and the manipulation and all the bullshit that they've done to them would be so much that they wouldn't even want to come back to you or they or if they did they wouldn't fully trust you or they would be always like you know how you know ptsd post-traumatic stress shit like that like on edge all the time so y'all wouldn't be able to have like a proper relationship or some dumb shit like that but look child look on the split i'm getting a divorce it's over yeah, this shit is, is about to be over anyway, no matter what this karmic is doing. It's about to be over. Look, I'm waiting for the paperwork to be finalized. 
And this masculine knows that you're someone who was highly desired, okay? You have the karmic is obsessed with finding out about you. So this karmic could be doing some type of um, research on you. They could be uh, watching your post or if you have social media or they're trying to find out about you, where you live, what you look like. If they don't know what you look like, they're trying to find out what you look like. They want to know where you live. They want to know what you drive. They want to know where you work. They want to know how long you were dealing with this masculine what did you do for them that they ain't doing why they you know what i'm saying why they can't get over you but the karmic can't get over you either because they're obsessed with trying to find out information about you somebody could even be paying for those like uh i was about to say credit reports not credit report maybe they are paying for credit reports i don't know but i think you have to have your social for that um what's the shit background checks thank you holy spirit somebody this this person could even be paying for like background checks on you and you know you gotta like that that gives you information about where a person lives and like their address or things like that like this motherfucker crazy whoever this is whoever this karmic is is crazy all right i'm gonna get a couple more and then i'm gonna move on because <laughs> Anything else? Oh, anything else we need to know? Anything we know from the Divine Masculine, child? Anything from the Divine Masculine? Look, this can't be over. This, this person is like, it can't be over between us. They want you to know they're getting divorced. Paperwork is going to, they're waiting on it to be finalized. Like, this can't be over between us. Look, bottom of the deck, I told y'all. Soulmate. Mm-hmm. And look, didn't I tell y'all I've been dreaming about you? Yeah, this person been dreaming about you, man. And look, acrimony. This karmic is giving acrimony vibes. If y'all have never seen that movie with Taraji P. Henson, you need to watch it. But acrimony is somebody who's just bitter, 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 bitter. <laughs> look, demons under my control, manipulation, and or spell work. I'm trying to tell you. Look, did y'all see this card fell out? Look, it fell. I split the dick and it just jumped out. Following or stalking with false pages, fake pages. Yeah, this karmic is stalking you with fake ass pages and shit. This motherfucker's crazy, man. Whoever this is, y'all be careful out there because I'm telling you, this person is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right. Anything else? Can I get one final message, please? One final message. Ooh, all of these want to come out. I can't, I'm not taking all of those, please. One final message, please. Okay, I'll take those. Oh, I told y'all, look, they caught me looking at your pictures. <laughs> Will you pick up if I call? So... <laughs> For some of you, this person does know what you look like. I know I shouldn't, but I really want to call and or talk to you. And look, new phone, who this old contact don't exist. So you could have this person blocked here, okay? Um, or they may call you from a different number. But I'm going to leave this right here. I hope y'all got something out of this message. I will see y'all in the next one. Until next time, I'm wishing y'all peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right, bye.